It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Hi, Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick McGee. Hey, Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. There's Ace Cosby. There's Willie Griswold. Good morning. I'm Chick McGee. No coincidence, uh, Christy receives a major award yesterday and then uh, takes this morning off. I don't know what that's all about. She is on her way, so take your time there. She's got to give the award back. Yeah. So much for professionalism. (laughs) I started doing shots with her mom. Yikes. Oh, boy. She's got to be hungover. uh, Shots with mom. I was chatting with her mom yesterday during the lunch, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You working that? I might be. Are you guys going to hit the nursing I, home together? I was chatting her up. <laughs> Hands you, on knees? Uh, no. <laughs> shoulder. That's but what, she seemed to be quite taken with the chickster. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, why, what, did you see how dapper you look? Uh, I was, I've been, uh, this is a long, ter- this is the long con, as I call it. <laughs> I've been, t- I've been talking to, uh, yeah, Christy's mom forever. So. You're looking for an older lady <laughs> to, uh, Yes. Is this when the host started talking and then someone in the crowd was just going, <laughs> they were? And I thought they were shushing, and then it turned out to be some sort of hiss, and then I looked over, and you were hissing at Christy's mom. You were trying to no, get her going. I was hissing at Christy. <laughs> they were talking. I, I had to do a little uh, Big Brother dig there or something, you know? I couldn't let her have a wonderful day. Oh, I see. So you're yeah. Disparaging her award. Well, and now congratulations, that brings Christy. us to Christy Lee. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I go, hiss, hiss. hiss. So look who's here. Christy Lee just got here. Hey, Hi, thanks for giving me that extra hour of sleep today. Too. Isn't it nice, Christy? <laughs> You'll yes. find it's the, at about uh, 930. You're, you're going to love that. Yeah. Extra hour. yeah. Boy, I know why they call it drive time now, though. <laughs> Woo. Man, you didn't bring the coffee cars. in? I thought about it. I'm sitting at the light going, should I call him? I thought, no, I better get there. Now, did you just go ahead and shower because you're late? Or? I didn't shower. Yeah. I woke up at 5.48, check local listings. Mm. I, I think... So, I less think, than an hour ago. I think I know the answer to this, Tom, but if you're late, you just jump in the car and, and come to the station, right? But you're never late. Hmm. But but would you say to yourself, I think Josh would do this. Well, I, I'm late now. I might as well take a shower. That is what I do. Yeah. No. no, I'm. I, I got to get here. Yeah, I've been I, an hour late. I showered. I got coffee. I made some phone calls. <laughs> yeah, I operate like I would have were I on right. time. That's oh, nice. I don't. Because I figure dead air for an hour, but uh, fortunately we're here covering your ass. <laughs> no, I figure if I'm gonna be late, how about I come in late, fully prepared? I don't want to come in late and be lagging. Oh, I feel great. But man, there's a lot of hostility in here today. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, whew. who'd let you win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in a mood. He got a major award yesterday, yeah. too. I don't know what his problem is. I, I think either. he was too nice yesterday, so he's kind of out of being nice for the week. Oh. So <laughs> buckle up, gang. <laughs> I'm fine. Well, and no one will find this surprising, but it looks like uh, I'm the only one who hasn't gotten a major award. It's, it's a glaring omission, I, aren't I, you? I don't want to make a big deal. Wait, aren't you it. in your like junior high school hall of fame? It's high school, oh, not junior that's, high school. That's a very funny junior. day. That is, <laughs> is, it, is it a very funny Chick, dig? would you agree that comedically, yes. I should be given an award before you? <laughs> well, I think if you're going to talk that way, comedically, I, I love that joke. But in the words of Larry David, I, I have to have an apology. <laughs> but comedically, I'm on board. <laughs> A uh, survey describing, or I guess sort of uh, going through breakup songs. Got it right here. And announcing, uh, I guess, what songs were the, or determining rather what songs were the, the the most popular breakup songs, if you will, what you listen to during a breakup. Do you have some of that list? Chris? Yeah, these are a result of a recent survey conducted by eHarmony. eHarmony, of course, is a dating website. People's favorite breakup songs started with number one, Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. That's Number a good tune. Two, that is oh, a good yeah. song. Number two, Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. Yeah. Three, Fleetwood Mac, Go Your Own Way. Adele comes in at number four, Someone Like You. I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor, number five. Hey, when did uh, when did uh, the farmer uh, break up with uh, Adele? <laughs> the farmer oh. and Adele? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? They were together for a long time. That, that duo, they were, they were oh. great. They were they great. They together yeah. and great everything. Together. Jake, is this anything? When did, the, uh, when did the, <laughs> the computer program guy break up with Adele? Uh, Adele! Oh. There you go. Oh. You mean Mac? <laughs> Are you having fun, Tom? Oh, I am. Oh. Uh, 
Well, the bitch got the house and my 401k with the five, 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 five. She got all of our furniture and half my pay. What's a five, 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 five? Yeah, she went to the judge and had our deal revised. What's a five, 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 five? Now I only see the kids court supervised. What the five, 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 five? I should have never called her a whore. Said she was acting like a whore. Yeah. <laughs> that old trick. Boy, that song was a lot more on yeah, the nose. Well, yeah, Greg, I, I didn't yeah. realize Greg had, had, a, had that much of a rough time. Yeah, right, right. That is right. I, I remain a big that was, fan. That was called the bitter I, breakup song. I'm glad, he, glad he changed it around. I was uh, so perhaps. scared. I thought you were committed. The bad breakup song. Yeah. The, bitter. See, the problem with that is just one slip. It's very close. Very, yeah. very tough. It's you're, you're on a tight wire with no net. When Why you don't do you uh, do your German accent again? Why don't you give that okay, up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> take, take that up for a walk again. Um, since we've got uh, the, the show Sexy Time coming up with Allie Breen, maybe you should, Could you? would you mind doing the roster uh, countdown again, except everyone answers in their most sexy voice to check? Ooh. <laughs> what? Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? The intros? Is that what you want? Yeah, do the intros, Chick, and then everyone will answer as if they were kind of... uh, Can I uh, choose the music? Uh, Uh, Sure, what do you got over there? I I don't have anything right away. This might take a while. How about about this? (laughs) Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey, Chick. Oh, yeah. That's good. Pat Godwood at the uh, performance (laughs) room. Hey, Chick. What is that? Is that like no, bus station? You're laying around? You Wally little, Cox? You went a little high there. What are you doing? Let me try it again. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hi, Chick. Well, not, now you're going to kill me and put me in your windowless van. I can feel it. <laughs> There's Josh Arnold. Hello, Chick. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jess Galsman is here. Hello, Chick. Oh, she's oh. ready for it. Nice. I think she sounds a little sick, actually. Oh, my God. Maybe a little. <laughs> oh. Now nah, she's dangerous. Now, this is where you say, 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 I'll tell you what to say, then say, okay. do you want to take my temperature? Oh, God. <laughs> do you want to take my temperature? Only if oh. it's rectally. <laughs> Ace Cosby is here. Oh, dick. <laughs> well, now we know what it's like to be in bed with Mr. T. <laughs> I'm, Ooh. I pity the fool that don't climb up on this. <laughs> There's uh, Willie Griswold. Hey, Chick. Hey. <laughs> no, he's like a he's like a son. I can't. I'm uh, Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Hey, Chick. Oh man, there it is. I know that you spell Chick with D T F. <laughs> what? He's oh, down to old. Oh, behave. Yeah, I got oh. taught that. I didn't know all about that. Someone taught me the DTF. Oh, yeah. I hope they taught you the right way. Once again, Christy, uh, late today. Yep. Has slept in after sure winning did. her big award yesterday. Late to work, not her period. No, no, no. She's been late for a while. Yesterday was Christy Lee Just Day. We celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of periods, uh, Allie Breen often has <laughs> I didn't think my intro could ever get worse. Wow. Well, could get worse. Oh, just wait. Well, that would be that would be one really bad intro. Allie, do you still oh, get yeah. uh, when you look for periods? Yes. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> you knew what you were doing. I did not know. what I, I, That was an awful segue. But do you still... Get periods. Are yeah. you still introduced occasionally as, you know, your next comedian is a female? Whoa. Are you, Do you still get that? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> like, can you believe... Oh, yeah, people what we still have do that. Because... Coming up is a lady. Oh. <laughs> now, do, do they, your name is obviously B-R-E-E-N, so it's relatively simple. Even uh, the, the most uh, uh, extraordinarily uh, dumb simpleton could figure out. No reason. But I bet mean. I bet you've been introduced as Allie Green or something incorrect over the years. Uh-oh. Yeah. No, for comedy, it's usually not a problem. Although, my full name is Allison. Sometimes if they introduce me as Allison Breen, they think that actress Allison Bree is coming oh, up. Oh, yeah. And I get yeah. very excited. I love And I'm like, sorry, guys. I've been brought up as Tom Arnold before, and the audience is quickly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you, were you an Allison in and high school? And then when I get an... I was an Allison in high school. Well, my close friends called me Allie, but my teachers and... And other students called me Allison. But now it's all 
alley, but when I get an Uber, people expect me to be a Muslim man. So <laughs> uh, I'm always very shocked. Uh, Ali. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ali. Yep. Ali. <laughs> like something, Ma- something. Okay. Muhammad. <laughs> now we have uh, a show here. It's uh, called Sexy Time. Oh. <laughs> and the way the show works is um, people send letters to Ali in various social media platforms uh, telling us their problems. We fix them. What have you got, Ali? Dear Allie, I got my girlfriend of five years earrings for her birthday last week, and apparently when she opened the box, she was expecting a ring because she started crying hysterically. Now it's so tense between us that I don't want to get her a ring because I feel pressured. Uh, But I do really love her. What should I do? Oh, my God. Oh, you guys should just talk it out, I guess. Get her the ring. He doesn't doesn't want to. Maybe he's not sure. Five years? What's he waiting for? Oh, yeah. boy, this. <laughs> you know what? Maybe she talks to him like you just talked to me. <laughs> Let me do the ring. Said the commitment foe. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have full disclosure from now on at the beginning of these uh, little uh, program we do with Ali Breen. I'll say I'm immature and uh, not very smart. You have to say you're a commitment foe. That's fair. Christie's perfect in every way. <laughs> Can I say, I think this is a little bit on the jewelry company. I think if it's not a ring, the box should maybe yep. be longer. I if agree. You, if it looks like a ring, that little box, you're going to get in trouble. And yeah. earrings do come in the same exact box. That's a shame. You're get right. a long it's box, funny. my yeah. friend. Willie, you're a concept, man. That's a good concept. You nailed it. Or yeah. just write on the box, not a ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quit crying. It's still a- in yeah. black Sharpie, this is not a ring. Maybe do something seasonal. <laughs> get a pumpkin. Okay. And um, what? What? And earring the pumpkin. You you put on like uh, it's the, too late. You put like uh, yeah. Um, yeah. This uh, take a uh, what ship would be a sailed, good word. what would be a good ear? I know. Oh, what are those things? Those green pepper. Green pepper. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait. You wouldn't go for the pun and use or uh, uh, no. corn. Uh, no, but you take a green pepper, slice it in half. Kind Will of someone tell him what the green pepper things are called? <laughs> no, no, Maybe, you know, but you can get an orange green pepper, right? Jake, who's the guy? Yeah, you can. Yes. Well, it's no. Orange so you get an orange, orange green pepper. It's, it's an orange pepper. pepper. It's an orange pepper. Or an orange pepper. green pepper. You mean you drop the green if the color's different? You're getting harder to be around. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. You know, the green peppers that are red. What do you call those? Do you know this couple just needs to sit so, down and say, hey, I'm going to get married No, you take, you let, hear me out on this. <laughs> You, 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 Willie had a great concept, and as his dad, I, 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 I probably uh, helped him with that. Oh, and uh, oh you, that is how he thinks. You, you cut the it. you cut the pepper in half, yeah, and you and you you stick it onto the pumpkin <laughs> on the sides. Then you carve a traditional pumpkin, but it's got these goofy ears on it. Then you put the earrings there, put it in a big box, and she's all excited. She opens it up, and there's there are those beautiful earrings on it's a the pumpkin. The most ridiculous That's, thing I've ever. Got, oh, I got that. brilliant, brilliant idea. <laughs> they solved it. What okay. else is going on? I, I got it. It's got a part two. I do. No, no, I wouldn't. Allie, the part two involves cooking chicken feet. You stay. Which, no, when they get no, cooked, no. they look like like weird uh, fetus hands. Oh. And then oh. you cook the chicken feet, and then you put the ring on one of the chicken feet. You no. want her, you're wanting to get married with the chicken feet? Because this is a great way for her to... Want to not get married yeah. to you? No, this is uh, she's feet. she's gonna think. Boy, this thing really smells weird. <laughs> no, and she opens she it up is and, gonna think and it grosses her up. But oh look, then she's gonna have a story to tell the rest of her Could life. Could you just shut up? <laughs> <laughs> You see this? You see this lovely ring? She's, She's doing right that thing that. that you girls do, where you hold your hand like this and drop your that uh, showing off the ring uh, thing. Like, uh, do they teach you that at uh, Comec? Whatever. Uh, you're gonna have to talk, otherwise she's gonna resent you for the next ten years. Yes. That's all. Get her the ring. That's we've, it. We solved it. Next. Yeah, next. But dear Allie, I'm moving in with my boyfriend, and he has the worst taste. Literally, there's a poster of dogs playing. Poker poker. Poker. in his living room. There's nothing wrong with that. How thing. long before I can give his place a glow up? <laughs> a <laughs> That's a bad thing. Uh, how about you give him a warning a glow up. that he should break up with you? Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What if he gets some classy art like that cover of Ed Hopper's Nighthawks, but it's James Dean and Marilyn Monroe and... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's yeah. also yeah. good. Did yeah. anyone else hear the way the boy pronounced Marilyn Monroe? Just oh, like yeah. Did you really? Stiffy yeah. father. Can I tell you why? I almost, said, apple. I almost said Marilyn Manson and I had to switch it. Okay. That's why I said oh, okay. Okay. Oh. All right, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> next. Hey, Tom. Dear Allie. Real quick, oh, Allie. Wait, I want to apologize. The way Tom has you segue into the next story... <laughs> 
is just flat out rude. Yeah. No, it, it's, you know it's that? Ham fisted. It's clumsy. <laughs> like you're an angry DMV worker. She does that to me. Does that shit. I know. She's Awful. not she's not at working at a deli. No. 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 <laughs> you say maybe all right, please, all right. Nice little story Number four. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. No, it's for Allie. This there are all these confusing voices in her head. So and, and by finding Don't you have confusing voices in your head too? <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> they could keep clenching. The May we have the next over. a little letter, too please. much insight into my you head? try that? Thank you. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> That's very nice, Josh. Here we go. Yes. Dear Allie, I got my boyfriend to go to therapy against his will, but he actually really took to it. I just found out that he's into it because his therapist is super hot, and now I want him to switch therapists. How can I do this without looking crazy? <laughs> P.S. He won't even let me have a male masseuse. So they're both crazy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, they both have trust issues. This is great. Here's what I recommend. You you, you take him, <laughs> you, you look him in the eyes, you take him by the hand, mm. and you both jump off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> That is probably the best. The <laughs> best best thing you can do. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.